I sort of get to know a part of these students that they might not have shared if we had been in a face-to-face -face lecture class. So it feels much more intimate. So I feel very lucky for that. It's just so amazing the the relationship that you can build with students. A lot of times it's bigger than what you can get in the classroom. They open up. The fact that you can sit in your recliner in your pajamas and teach your class. And you have more time to uh, compose your answers and go and get them things to help them. There's a lot of opportunity for self-driven, um, competency-based stuff. There's a lot more flexibility, uh, adaptive learning styles, gamification. There's so many things, really. So uh, it's going to be, but for me, I suppose it's just being on the precipice of it all. That's really what's exciting about it is, is it's almost like a singularity event happening where we're not quite sure where things are going to go in the future. One of the things I'm most excited about with online learning is synchronous uh, sessions, synchronous teaching in online. Um, I think that's a really neat opportunity to make those social connections with students in an online environment. And um, at MCC, we're looking to play around with that pretty soon. It's going to be exciting. I always learn from the students. I'm always surprised by the students. I find out about new tools that I didn't even know existed, um, that they're always telling me about. I always feel like I'm much more hip after I complete teaching a course. Working for the help desk, the, the main thing about the uh, online learning that it's our favorite part is actually helping people, really. That's what we're here for, is to support, support everyone that calls us, contacts us via email, chat, um, any way they want to, right? So that's the favorite part, is the, 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 not indir indirectly helping people that we never see or you know face to face, but we know that we have a large impact with. The excitement that I find in online learning is just getting the people together that normally can't be physically together, and getting them to think and and share and uh, understand from each other. The opportunity is really also to, to start to engage faculty members to start to think very differently about how they deliver instruction because it's not just about online. When you start to have the conversation, everything opens up and you can really start to engage the faculty about, hey, it's the 21st century. How should we really be conducting teaching and learning today as opposed to what we were doing 20, 30 years ago? For me, it's an opportunity to um, interact and engage with students um, in a way that is not possible in a face-to-face -face environment. Um, it just, there are um, affordances to that environment where you are able to um, interact and engage and um, present content in innovative ways and um, facilitate collaborations and interactions between students in ways that are not possible in the face-to-face -face classroom and uh, to give feedback that is um, also creative and, um, and to assess students in ways that are uh, more engaging and more personalized to them and to their interests and to the work that they do. My favorite thing about online learning is that it gives um, the flexibility to students to um, collaborate online and talk to each other and have that discussion um, and it gives the teacher a sense of um, freedom to be able to do it at their own pace and the students to be, a, to be able to do it at their own pace as well. My favorite thing would be the accessibility for students who maybe don't have the opportunity to come to campus or work full time. Just the access that we can get to so many other students this way. You can do it anytime, any place, anywhere, and it again, it gives you access, gives people access because of the flexibility to information and and courses and hopefully degrees they would otherwise not have access to. The main reason we started online courses is to provide those people who cannot come to class and want to learn the ability to learn. So people who work all day, raise their kids all day, uh, now can learn things that they were not able to do before. It's allowing all of my students to find the best way for them to learn what they need to learn at the level they need to learn it and the pace they need to learn it. The freedom it gives the students. The fact that they can do their things at, different, at their own time. A lot of it you can do it at your own time, uh, what's convenient to fit your schedule. And I think, you know, for me too, I have a very hard time sitting in a classroom myself. So that allows me to kind of interact uh, with the lessons and uh, just do it at my own time. It gives students a way to, to take their education in the way that fits their lives. 
And if we can give them what they need in a time that they can do it, they're going to succeed.